10 sprints, nine daily dashes, and four hacks. Over the course of five days. Over 3,000 people. This is the Northumbrian Water Group's Innovation Festival 2019. It's our third innovation festival and every year it gets bigger. Day one's really key, get the input from the people. We've got the digital twinning back with Newcastle University and our kind of poster child, the innovation which was our underground map. So we thought this year, let's have a look at the above ground. So we're looking at all those things that are currently missing from our maps that utilities, local authorities and other institutions need to know about. The problems might not necessarily be new ones, but it's new ways of trying to solve them, more efficient ways, and I guess that's what innovation is. I'm absolutely blown away with the creativity. A great thing I saw was loads of primary school kids yeah. building these amazing bridges and watching how excited they were when they were putting the weights on. My favourite part was probably building the bridges. I like designing the structures. Hello and welcome to day two. What this festival does for us as an organisation in a massive way is breaks us out of our bubble. It exposes us to new ways of thinking. We've got Fab Lab from Sunderland University with us and they're going to be helping us prototype so to actually bring some of the ideas that we're having to life. You weigh the same as a warthog. <laughs> Yesterday they worked out an algorithm to find out how to help people who might be in water poverty, identify those people, work out how to help them. That's innovation. It isn't a great big shiny spaceship. It's something that really affects people's lives. This week we're looking at 5G, super powering a smart grid. The next stage is now their brain is just brimming with lots of ideas. We will take them to that next level where they can get all those ideas out on paper. We'll design it, we'll design a persona. Sprint tents are in a desperate kind of like frenzy. Today we're uh, on the second day of a sprint to develop an app that uh, will help the Northumbrian water drivers, how can improve their mental and physical health of the driver. And hopefully by the end of the day, we'll be able to go away with a, an app that we can start testing on some actual drivers for Northumbrian water. It's day three. It's about diversity, it's about different people coming up with different ideas. The simplicity is the answer. The sprint leads will be feeling pressure because we need output. This will warn me if there's a hazard, it will beep at me if I'm doing something wrong, and it gives me about a two second warning before something happens. In London, the bus companies have now installed it and they've seen a 30% reduction in crashes and a 60% reduction in injuries. Everything from the sort of the plant buddy when we're talking about watering plants, even to the ordnance survey looking at how do we map all the assets that are under the ground. And then when it comes to the data hacking, you've got rooms full of data scientists talking about the best way to use data, collect it and, and, and pull it all together. Denzel is a water leak detection dog. If there's a leak there in a subsurface where we can't always see, he'll be able to detect it by smelling the chlorine which is in the leak. Because it's a festival, people are smiling as well. It's a great way to work. Welcome to day four of Innovation Festival 2019. It's been a pretty emotional ride for our sprint leaders. Inspiring, frantic, exhausting. Amazing, diversity, collaboration, worthwhile. Hot, wet and steamy. Now we're kind of in the space where we're honing down those ideas that are going to really make a big difference to our business. Currently I'm designing the vehicle of the future. I'm creating something that would go in between the driver's seat and passenger seat. It's a refrigerated unit so it keeps your food cold and also it's going to have cup holders to keep your coffee warm and your cold drinks cool. I've been into quite a few sprints. Such a brilliant way of getting like an idea, whittling it down and prototyping it at super speeds within a week. There is so much going on today. It is indeed day five. Time is running out. It's the big showcase this Friday afternoon. Watering plants, we're trying to work out when they need watering, so this one's thirsty, it needs more water, otherwise it's going to die in a couple of days. How are you going to get signal or get a message back to somebody that you're in difficulty? Find a 5G area, drop all the information from the sensors to that, and then pick up some information to take back to them to say, look, help us on this way. Dragonfly is a, a sensor that, which will go into rivers and tributaries and what it does is it measures for pollution incidents so it will measure various parameters around the water. So we're building QR code posts down the waterway so at any point you can take a snap, download the app, you'll be able to find out about the local history of that area. The winner of the 2019 InvestQuest is the Site Wastewater Analysis Trailer. This festival is growing every single time because people get it. 
the pe people really understand what it is that we're doing here and the fact that we're making a difference. How cool is that? I love the dragonfly. If we can get that to work, that is just going to be amazing. For rural communities, that kind of level of connectivity. It feels absolutely amazing. I'm so proud and so thankful to everybody who's come and joined us this week.